What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to bootloader, unlock, and root your LG G4 H811 device, which is the T-Mobile variant. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So first thing you're going to need is obviously the phone. Make sure it's the T-Mobile version too, um, H811. If it has like H811 and then like two extra letters or whatever, it's totally fine. It's just a different software update. It's still going to work. Um, and anyway, mine is running on Android Marshmallow right now, so yours can be running on any version though, it still works. So what you're going to do first is you're going to want to make sure your device is at around 40 to 50% battery life. And um, once, once that's all said and done, you are going to go in the description of this video, I've provided a link, and I just wanted to make it as simple as possible, you know, I have some people talking about how they... Uh, you know, go to these weird links and get like viruses and all that, and how sometimes they redirect you to like different websites. Anyway, I made it simple and I put um, these three files right here in a, these are just files that I downloaded online, you know, they're safe, whatever, um, I scan them and all that. So I uploaded these three files into one folder on Google Drive. Uh, it's in the description of this video, a link is. so. Before you continue watching, just download these three things, scan it with your antivirus, I don't care because uh, they're totally legit. And um, anyway, so once you download the, the um, files right there, you are going to open up the one that says Platform Tools Latest Windows Zip. Okay, so you are just going to double click it, then we're going to go here to Platform Tools and this is how we are going to get into the phone and do all that fancy stuff. So, um, you are going to double click, I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again, but you're going to double click adb.exe and then you're going to extract all files. Then it's going to ask you where you want to extract them all, it's going to, going to extract them to a new folder, so make sure that you know where it is, preferably just extract them to your desktop, um, that's what I did to make it simple. And so once you're going to extract all those and then go to fastboot.exe, double click and extract all of those also to just, it'll probably automatically put it as the same location as this, which is perfectly fine. And um, once you're done with that, then instead of going into this, because this is a zip file, we don't need that anymore, you are going, it's going to pop out basically extract them into this folder right here. So this is um, it's now extracted, okay, I've extracted it into this, and now what you are going to do, by the way, this normally is not in it. Before we get into what we're doing here, go into settings on your device, okay, so go to system settings, swipe to general, go all the way down, um, click on, by the way, this developer options thing is what we're going to try and get, so normally you will not see that yet. You're going to go to about phone software info normally yours would not say this i'm actually running a custom rom but it's based on the uh stock rom so it's the exact same pretty much then you're going to click on build number okay like 10 times okay just keep doing it until it says something like you are now a developer then you're going to back two times out to just the main general menu then you'll get developer options okay that's how it shows up so you go into this, um, and then you are going to enable USB debugging, so there should be a check mark, and enable OEM unlock. Once you do that, that is when I do want you to connect your phone to your computer. Plug it in, allow your connection, make sure it's MTP, you know, for uh, file sharing. You guys should know how to do that. And then go to your internal storage, okay? Um, on yours, I don't know if these folders will be here, but it's not necessary, okay? This is what we're going to copy over to our internal storage. Uh, you guys won't have this on here yet, because what you need to do, here, let's make this a little shorter. What you need to do is take the beta super SU file, okay, and drag that right to your internal storage. Do not put it in any folder. So actually, I should tell you to do it like this. There's your internal storage on your phone. Take the beta super SU and just drag it, and then open it up to make sure that it is copied like it should be right there. 
Now we're gonna get into the command prompt section. Now what we're going to do is open a command window in the platform tools, tools folder that we extracted from the zip file. So we're going to hold down shift and click the right mouse key. Now we're going to click like left click, normal click, open command window here. Then the command window is gonna pop up. So let's just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Now what you're gonna do is type in ADB devices. Okay, ADB devices. Click enter. Okay, and now it says list of devices. Also, um, once you do this step, it might not say your device name and device because you'll have to look on your phone and there will be, first of all, you have to allow the computer, um, like allow connection from the phone to the computer, have it connected, obviously. And then there's another thing where it will say something like, trust this computer, would you like to trust? Make sure you click trust the computer and then it should say like this right here, your device name and device. Okay, when it says list of devices attached. Anyway, now what we're going to do is type in ADB reboot bootloader. Okay, so as you can see there, ADB reboot bootloader. And make sure your phone is still connected. I'm going to show you this on my phone here. We're going to click enter now. So now the phone is going back to... Uh, bootloading mode or whatever the heck it's called fast boot bootload mode now this is how this is the step where we are going to unlock the bootloader right here so i have already unlocked the bootloader okay it's already been done once you do it once you can't uh, like undo it or anything so um right here it will say something like to unlock bootloader type this Anyway, I already know what you have to type. So once you're in this mode, you're all good. You're golden. Okay. We're going to set down the phone now because the rest of it's just on here. We are going to type in. It's now going back to the command window. Now, once you're in fast boot mode, we're going to type fast boot OEM unlock. Okay. So fast boot OEM unlock. And I think I just spelled unlock, right? I'm incorrectly. So fast boot OEM unlock, and then you're going to hit enter. Okay, once you hit enter, it's going to say bootloader unlocked or something of that nature. Okay, and then you're, that's as simple as that for T-Mobile's unlocking the bootloader. T-Mobile made it extremely simple. Um, so there, now you're done with that. Now what we're going to need to do is flash the custom recovery uh, onto the phone and this is not a permanent flash that we're about to do because I have found that that just doesn't work for me um, I don't know it just didn't work on my phone so we're gonna do a temporary flash and then we're going to root the phone and then I'll show you how to install the twerp custom recovery TWRP okay so now we can you know close this folder doesn't need to be open keep the command prompt window open um, and remember, if you ever accidentally close this, just go back into platform tools and open it like we did before. Now we're going to be focusing on this file right here. So what we're going to do now is take the twerp custom recovery and where is my mouse? We're going to take the twerp custom recovery. Actually, I shouldn't have told you to close this yet. We're going into platform tools again, and then you are going to drag the twerp file into the platform tools folder that we have here. Okay, so now it's going to say twerp, blah, blah, blah. There it is. It's in there now in the platform tools folder. We are going to actually flash the um, customer twerp custom recovery, TWRP custom recovery onto the phone. Okay, this is a pretty simple thing to do. By the way, this will not be the permanent twerp um, flash. Okay, we're going to have to do that one more time because I found for myself that doing it the way lots of other people have suggested does not work. So this way I know works for sure. So what we need to do first is we're actually rooting the phone first and then permanently installing twerp custom recovery. Click on the twerp um, file. We're going to click rename. Don't start typing anything. Um, and on your computer, hold control and then hold A. Okay, that's just a fancy way to select everything. And then hold control and hit C as you're holding control. That is going to just copy the text and make it easier. So what we literally could have also done. Actually, I'll just show you this way. Okay, rename and highlight it. 
copy. And then now that we have the text copied, it just makes our lives easier. So we're going to open up the command window here. We are going to type fast boot boot and then put a space. And now we are going to um, paste in what we had written down. So we're going to click here, click paste. Okay, or you can use the shortcut control V on your keyboard. So now it should say fast boot boot twerp and it should be the image name that is in your folder right here. So now what that's going to do is once we click enter, I'm actually not going to do this because I'm afraid it might mess up my device. I don't think it will because I already have done it. So that's why I'm saying I'm not going to do it. But this is how I did it. Anyway, what's going to happen now is you would click enter. OK, so click enter now. What's going to happen is the twerp logo is going to show up right here on your phone. It'll take a second. It'll show up and then you're going to go into it. And I actually have a different way of going into it. So I will get back to you once I'm in twerp and you guys should be in twerp right now. Now this is where you guys should all be at um, is twerp recovery. So remember, this is not a permanent flash. So if you restart your phone now and try and get into it, it's not going to work. Okay, it's a one time thing right now. Now what we're going to do, remember how we installed um, or we copied over, we copied over the super SU onto the uh, storage of the phone okay directly onto it so now what we're going to do is click on install we're going to go to the super su file make sure storage is selected to internal okay and then you're going to click on super oops that's not what i meant so now you're going to click on super su and you are going to swipe to flash and then it's going to um, basically root your device. That's how you root it. Um, simple as that. Okay, swipe to flash it. And then I think you will reboot your device. There'll be an option reboot device. Click that. Okay, so now your device will be rebooted. All right, we are now in the device. It should be rooted now, but we need to actually check to make sure that it is rooted. So go to your Play Store. If you're not signed in, whatever, sign in. Um, then you're going to type in root checker. Download the one that looks like this. Um, it's the one I like the most. I don't know. Uh, then you're going to open that up. And it's really simple. So once that downloads, open it up. Click verify root. Congratulations, root access is properly installed. That is what should show up. Okay, if it doesn't, ask me any questions you guys have in the comments section down below. Okay, so root access is properly installed. Now, this is what we need to do. We're going to go into the Play Store. There's one other thing that we need to download, and this is how we are going to permanently um, flash or permanently have twerp recovery on our device, okay? Because right now it was only on there temporarily. So you're going to type in TWRP, as you saw up there, TWRP, official twerp app. This is what it should look like. Open it up, download it, okay? Now I'm going to open it up. Um, now what you're going to do is click on twerp flash. We're going to do select device, okay? And obviously, uh, you're watching this because you have the LG G4 H811. We're going to type up here, or search devices. So we can just click LG, oops, LG G4 H, oops, there we go. Okay, just type in LG G4. Um, so LG G4 T-Mobile, you're going to click that. And then we're going to click the top of the list because that's the latest version, because why not? You will be redirected. Okay, now once you select the version that you want, the latest version, you'll be redirected to a download page in Google Chrome. Okay, then you're going to click download. You're going to download that image, and where it's going to download to is your downloads folder on your device storage. Okay, that's where it goes. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I have already done it. So I'm getting out of here. Now, your device should be selected and the file, the image should be downloaded. Then you're going to select the image to flash. Okay, so you need to go on your device. We are going to go to your device storage. Um, I don't know why this is saying SD card because this actually isn't my SD card. But anyway, it's kind of odd. But we're going to go to um, downloads because that's where it puts it is the downloads folder. It's right there, download. And then you're just going to select it. So click right there and click select. Okay, so that should be 
check mark or whatever, and then click select. I'm not doing that because I have already done it. And then once you've done both of those steps, don't click download TWRP. Don't click it. You are going to click flash to recovery. Okay. And then all it should say is pretty much, I forget exactly what it says, but basically it says, yay, you have flashed it. Congrats. Good job. Okay. So now you're done with that. Okay. So we are basically done with everything. All we need to do is check. Okay. So right now we've already checked that we've rooted the device and now we're going to check that we properly permanently installed twerp recovery. What we're going to do now, hold the back button just to shut it off. Okay. So just hold it and now we're going to click power off. Okay. Okay. It's shut off now. This is a process. A lot of people mess up. Okay. So I've heard wrong, incorrect tutorials for this, for I think they're different devices though, but for the LG G4 T-Mobile version, you are going to hold, I know it's gonna be hard to see, but I'm only using one finger to hold down both the power button in the middle and the volume down button, okay? So I'm holding both of those down, and I, I don't know, I wish I could show you like both sides of this at once, okay? I'm gonna just tell you what I'm doing on the back here though, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold both of these two buttons down, the volume down and the lock button, then your device is going to start booting up. Once you see the LG logo, that is when you let go of the power button, but continue holding on the lock, I mean on the volume down button. And then after about one or two seconds, start pressing down on the power button again without ever releasing the volume down. Hopefully you guys could take all that in. I know it's kind of complicated. So right now I'm going to start pressing on the volume down and power button. That's what I'm doing right now. Now we see the LG logo, let go of the power button, continue holding volume down. And then that's how you do it. And then after you let go of it for a little bit, then press and hold the power button too. Okay. If you have a problem with this, uh, I don't know, look at another tutorial. Um, now delete all data. This, if we correctly installed Twerp Recovery, this should not actually delete all of our data. We're going to click yes. It's going to bring up this other screen, delete everything. Yes. Okay. By the way, you use your volume buttons to go up and down. So volume button up, volume down, volume up, volume down. To select, we click the power button. Now, if we did correctly install Twerp Recovery, by the way, before you did any of this, you should have backed up all your stuff. I forgot to mention that. But... Now that we have think now that we think we've successfully installed Twerp, this is how we're checking. So now we're going to select yes. This should not actually factory reset your device if you've correctly installed Twerp. There we go. So that's how you get into Twerp recovery. There's other ways to do it too, um, like through apps and whatnot without actually resetting your device. But that is what I wanted to show you in case you your device malfunctions and you can always get into it. Now, uh, yeah, now that you know that Twerp is permanently installed and we've rooted the device, that's going to be the end of the video. All we need to do now is click reboot and reboot system. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope that it worked for you of both unlocking the bootloader and... Uh, and flashing the custom recovery onto your device. If you have any questions or anything went wrong for you, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. I will try and get back to you and answer any questions. Uh, make sure to be specific so that I actually know what you're talking about. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day.